Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and today we're talking about unit rates. So we will have a short mini lesson just explaining what mini, uh, explaining what unit rates are. Then we'll have some practice problems, and at the end we are going to show a word problem to help fully understand or show that you understand what unit rates are. So let's get started. Mini lesson. <clears throat> when you measure one thing in relation to another thing, and the second thing is the number one, which would go in the denominator if you're writing it as a ratio, which of course you would want to, <clears throat> stop. Unit rate should not be this complicated. They really shouldn't. So when you're thinking about unit rates, I want you to slow down and simplify. Unit rates are basically made as a way to simplify your life. Let me show you how. If you're in the store and you want to get yourself some green cheese, which by the way is a lot like blue cheese, only more disgusting, and you see this sale, green cheese is $4 for three cans and $2.50 for two cans, you can figure out which one of these is a better deal by finding something called the unit rate. And this is the way you do it. You take your $4, divide by three, and that gives you um, 1.33333333 repeating. And if you take your 250 and you divide it by 2, that would give you 1.25. You can look at these two numbers. That is the unit rate, or the cost of one can of green cheese. If you buy it in a four pack, you're paying $1.33 approximately per can. If you buy it in a two pack, you're paying $1.25 per can. So this is a practical skill that you might have seen inside of a grocery store if you've ever gone shopping for green cheese or anything else that you would actually buy. It may also sound familiar because of this one word that you're going to see repeated in these examples. Miles per hour, dollars per gallon, rotations per minute, miles per gallon, words per minute, and dollars per hour. You notice the word per is in there every time. That is telling you how many of one thing you're getting per one or how much of it's costing or how many miles you're going or whatever per one of another thing. For example, how many dollars per one can of green cheese. That's what a unit rate is. That's it. It's giving you an amount that you can compare different things. So let's look at questions that would involve unit rate. This is when we're going to practice. The question says, I earned $94.25 in 13 hours. Find the unit rate. Now it's time for you to pause this recording and try to find the unit rate. Pause the recording, seriously. OK. And if you're back. Finding the unit rate is as simple as dividing. So you should have taken $94.25 divided by 13 and found out that I make $7.25. That is my hourly rate. I earn $7.25 per hour unit rate. Let's do another one. Pause the video. Try this one out. I run two miles in 20 minutes. Try and find the unit rate for that. There's actually two different unit rates you could have discovered for this. You could have said 20 divided by 2 equals 10, and that is 10 minutes per mile, or in other words, how many minutes it takes to run each mile. Or you could have flipped them over and done 2 divided by 20, which gives you 0.1 or 1 tenth, and that means I run 1 tenth of a mile per 1 minute. That's a unit rate. Whatever is on the top is what you say first, and whatever is on the bottom is what you say second. So in this case, I have two miles per 20 minutes, so I would say miles per minute. So it's 0.1 miles per minute. And that's how unit rates work. That is it for our practice. Now it's time for our word problem. Kaz bought water in a 24-pack for $4.99. Pentra bought a bulk pack of 36 bottles of water for $7.49. Who got the better deal? Try that out. Try and figure that out. Think about it. 
figure it out, pause the video, and then come back for my full solution of how I would solve this problem for Kaz and Pentra. Welcome back. I hope you solved it. If not, you're cheating. All right. This is the way you do it. You take Kaz's bottles of water, take the cost divided by the number of bottles. So 499 divided by 24. That would give you approximately um, 0 0.2079. It continues on, but I'm just going to take the first four digits on the right of the decimal. Now I'm going to take Pentra's water bottles, divided, cost divided by the number of bottles, and that gives me 0 0.2081. So these costs are actually very similar. However, Kaz's water, because it costs um, 0 0.2079, as opposed to Pentra's that costs 0 0.2081, Kaz actually got a slightly better deal on his water bottles, and he didn't have to carry nearly as many water bottles out to the archery tournament or whatever they're doing. All right, quick recap. We talked about unit rate. That is the cost per one. Try and keep it simple. Unit rates are there to try and help make your life simple. So try and keep it simple. Don't make it too overly complicated. Basically, you're dividing to find the cost for one item. I hope that lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.